There's a certain etiquette when it comes to mountain biking, a secret code, if you like, whilst out riding. It's not a complicated one. In fact, it's fairly simple, but sometimes the code gets broken. Yes, there are actually certain ways not to behave on a ride, things you shouldn't do. So today's video, we are gonna have a look at what they might well be. All right. Yes. Oh man. Woo. Yeah. Uh, turn skids. Uh, oh man. This trail's rad. Woo -hoo. All right. Yes. Let's do that again. Skids are useful, great for slowing down, sudden direction changes maybe, but unnecessary massive skidding anywhere is just not cool. Nope, it just damages trails, people off, and it doesn't look good either. Just look at it. Look at this, what kind of goon has been through here and done these massive skids on the trails? It damages mother nature and that ain't cool either. But you know what's really not cool? Trail builders put in a ton of time sculpting and crafting. All these great trails like these ones here at Windhill that we get to ride, and people coming along and just doing big old skidders, just damage it and it angers them. It ain't cool. Nope, so just try not to do it if you don't have to. No one wants to be chased by an angry trail builder with a pitchfork, that's for sure. Look at the state of this. This next one is a big old no-no. It's pushing back up the trails. Yep, yeah, it can spell absolute disaster for both yourself and a potential rider coming down. So just try to avoid it if you can. Worst case scenario, if you do have to push up something like this, be vigilant. Keep your eyes and ears peeled for anyone that could be on track. If you can go up the side of the track, keep well clear out of the way. But as a general rule of thumb, pushing up tracks, especially downhill tracks, because people are hauling down them, you really want to try to avoid it. What a day for a ride. Trails all to myself, no one around. Just cruising, doing what I want, not a care in the world. Ah, this is the life. Oh my God! Oh my God! Dude, what are you doing? You can't, you can't stop there, dump your bike and push up trails. That's so dangerous. You need to kill me. Oh man, you're an idiot. Mate, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have been pushing up the trail. What was I thinking? I nearly killed you and me and... So you're a good looking guy, so I definitely don't want to do that. I'm so, I'm so sorry, I will never push up a trail again. Because you are, you're a great looking guy. A little more niche this one, but I'm sure a lot of us have heard the saying, no dig, no ride. Well, back in the day, this used to be a pretty firm rule in the old world of dirt jumping. But let's just say that if you turn up to a new spot, then lending a hand certainly wouldn't go amiss. This could be a new spot full of trails you've started to ride or a dirt jump spot. No one likes it if you turn up and disappear again without even chipping in a bit. It'll get you on the good side of the locals and help you make a load of more new riding buddies and probably find out even more good riding spots. Nobody likes a know-it-all. That one person who shows up to the trail center or up to your local ride, maybe they're a new person to the group and they're trying to impress. They're sprouting facts at your left, right and center. No way, is that a And well, <coughs> really, it can just be a little bit annoying. Go on then. That Canyon Stoic 2021 edition. Yeah, all right. White yeah. with the gold uh, decals. Yeah. I like, like it, nice, truck. yeah. Real cool, had okay. one once, it was a good yeah. bike. Yeah, I cool see you've uh, changed a few uh, parts. Look at this guy's changed a few bits. 10 speed out back. Hello boys, oh, yeah, what are we talking, talking about here? Then what have we got? Rich, Go nice. On. Stoic, yeah, yeah, again. Yeah, well, it's all right, isn't it? It does the job. Have you ever ridden around it? The trails? Please. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, it's good bike. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be all right. Might keep up with me. Who right. knows? Yeah. Oh, God. Come on! Oh, my God! What are you doing? This one is an absolute pet hate of mine. It's being a Timmy tag along, yes. No one likes it when you drop in and then almost straight away after, Someone drops in after you and tries to hunt you down. It's really off-putting. It can not just be off-putting for the rider in front, but also for yourself as well. It's gonna ruin the ride for both of you because they're gonna be worrying about you trying to overtake being behind them, shouting in God knows what away. And then also you can't go as fast as you want to go. So my words of wisdom here, give it a bit of time before dropping in behind someone or 
If you want to drop into the trail, but you see someone maybe go, just say to them, hey, dude, do you mind if I just drop in before you on and try and go really fast? Mountain bikers are friendly, just do that. Don't break the code. What a time to be alive. Beautiful trails, beautiful day. It is good. Jesus. Where the heck did that come from? The things people throw, unreal. Huh. Big old red flag, this one. It's littering, not cool or the good thing to do at the best of times. Try and take home what you bring with you. If you see a bit of litter, why not pick it up as well? Trash-free trails is the way to go. Keeping old uh, wildlife nice and happy. So uh, yeah, if you are out riding, I tell you what, just, just pick it up. Look, look at this, who's blooming? Who's left that there? Not cool. Right, I'm out of here. There we go then, some things that maybe you shouldn't do next time you're riding. Maybe you see your friends doing them and you can say, hey, don't do that. But I would just like to say we are at Windhill, a private park. Uh, so everything that we have done today, we did get permission for first and we did clean up after ourselves. But that's it, I'm out of it. If there are more things that you think people do whilst out riding that they shouldn't, let me know in the comments below. But for now, for me, I'm out of here. Cindy McSenderson's gone. See you later.